hello everyone you welcome back to my youtube channel hope you guys are doing great okay today's class is a very very interesting one as usual i'll be showing us a very very short trick a nice trick in fact this trick is like one of a kind trust me you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it so i'll be showing us how we can mock up using our pixel lab yes you had me right how we can mock up using our pixel lab okay um what most of us um usually have in uh, the back of our mind is that you have to get your photo p to be able to mock up well you can actually mock up using your pixel lab so i'll be showing us how we can mock up look at this beautiful flyer this beautiful flyer you are seeing right now this is what we'll be getting at the end of this training trust me by the end of this training you should be able to design something much more better something much more beautiful than this trust me okay that is part one now the part two yet the interesting part is that during the course of this training i'll be sharing with us a very very amazing site a site where you can download png materials free of charge this site is is one of a kind it's going to help boost your um your graphic designing career trust me so the um, all the resources we're gonna be using today, I'll be showing you how you can download them, then how you can use it. I'll be showing you everything first and in this video. So I want you to stay to the very end, watch this video, digest it, and let me hear from you. Okay, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. I'll be moving straight to our Chrome. I'll be moving straight to our Chrome very very quickly okay the name of the site is egg okay let me type it egg png dot com egg png dot com okay all right okay so this is what the site looks like once you just type it in egg png dot com or png egg dot com it's going to bring it for you automatically okay so let's assume i want to search for shadow let's assume i want to search for shadow so it's going to load up you're going to see all kinds of shadow you can use all kinds of shadow you can use but during the course of this training the shadow we'll be using we'll be using two different shadows We'll be using the one that is going to give us a 3D effect. And we'll be using the one we're going to use to design to design the flyer. Okay. So I'll be downloading this. This first one. We'll be needing that. So I'll click on it that way. Once I click on it, then I scroll down to where I see download PNG for free. This particular guy here. I'll click on it. Once I click on it, it loads up. See, file downloaded. So you can open it and check it in your gallery. It is already downloaded. Look at it at the top here. File downloaded. Good. So that is the first one we'll be using. Well, I'll be downloading this one as well, this particular one. So I'll click on it. Once I click on it, it's going to load up. So I will scroll down to where I have download PNG for free. This particular guy here. I will just click on it very, very quickly. I have downloaded it before. That's why it's asking me if I want to download it again. So you see, file downloaded. Very, 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 very easy. It is not difficult at all. Good. Now let's move back to our Pixel Lab so that we can continue our work. Okay? Good. So, oh, add. You have to be patient, okay? I don't need you guys. Okay, back to business. So, I'll be deleting this. Delete, okay? So, I will need a plain background. Good. Now, we have designed our flyer initially, right? So, I want us to bring in our flyer so that we can give it the 3D um the 3d effect and the shadow effect so i'll go to my gallery 
I'm trying to locate where we have the flyer. Okay. This is the first one. Good. So this is the first flyer, right? Let me just expand it a bit. You see that? Good. So I'll be going back to bring in our shadow. The shadow we downloaded earlier. So it's in our download. So I'll just be bringing it in very, very quickly. Okay. So this is it. I'll just mark it. So this is our shadow. I'll be rotating it. So let me just rotate it this way. Good. Then I'll be expanding it. I'll expand it. Then I'll select on our um I'll select on our flyer. Then I'll bring to front. Once I bring to front, it comes to the front. So let me just expand this. So I'll expand this like this. And I'll be placing our flyer in the middle. I'll be placing our flyer in the middle. So I have to make it a bit wider. Let's see. Good. Okay, so let me make it a bit longer. Place it in the middle. So you have to work on this very, very carefully. So that you get an amazing result. You see that? You see that? Look at that. Look at that. You see you see you see what we've got in this is beautiful. This is amazing. You see that? So once you are done, you can just merge it. You see that? You see that this is beautiful. This is this is lovely. So you go back to your layer, then you click on this guy down below here. You select it and you what and you merge. Okay, it becomes an entity, so you can place it in the middle. You see that lovely, beautiful, good. Okay, so I'll be going back to my gallery. I want to give it that slice effect. I'll be going back to my gallery, then I'll be selecting. On the shadow that I have actually downloaded initially good so this is the shadow I want to make I want to give it a slice effect it is very very simple I will just place it on that here I will expand it in such a way that it touches the edges the edges of the flyer both edges rather it touches both edges of the flyer. Okay. You see that? Good. So let me just move it a bit to this side. Perfect. So once that is that that is done, I will click on copy to get another one. So you don't need to stretch the length. You just use that same length for everything. To make it uniform. So I'll just place it somewhere around here. Then I click on copy again. Then I'll place it on the other one. So you keep going that way. Click on copy. Place it at the top one. So it's going to give it a slice effect. You see that? This is beautiful. This is just... One of the many tricks you'll be learning from TM Graphics, trust me. I am sure you are enjoying this, this video. If you are enjoying this video, if you are learning a thing or two from this video, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video, like this video. Wow. Within the space of how many minutes? Within the space of, let's say, five minutes, you are done. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is amazing. This is top notch. Top notch. Um, graphic design is all, all about being creative. 
being creative you don't have to know everything you don't have to be a guru you just have to make do with the little you have okay so this is the first one so i'll click on this that looks like an sd card save as image save as image then i'll be changing it to ultra and i'll save to my gallery you see that now let me use another another shadow another shadow effect let's see if i'm still going to get the same result mm. let's see 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 if i'll be getting the same result okay so i'll be deleting all this delete 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 good okay so i'll be going to my gallery once again all right so i'll be working with the green one this time around yes i'll be working with this one this time around lovely so i'll be going back to my gallery i want to use another shadow effect which i've actually downloaded earlier today let's see which one can i use which one can i use okay let's use this one good okay so this is the one i want to use so i'm gonna rotate it I'm gonna rotate it a bit so I'll rotate it this way. Rotate it this way. Good. I will expand it. I hope you are following. Then I will select on the flyer. The flyer I'll bring it to front. Good. While sending this to the back. I will expand that that way. Stretch it out a bit okay move it up so i'll be placing this right in the middle wow look at that i'll be placing this right in the middle so that is that about that you see that this is beautiful this is amazing this is amazing let me just move it up a bit wow you see that top notch so i'll be going back to our layer i'll be selecting then i'll be merging the both of them together okay good then after that i'll be going back to my gallery i'll be bringing in the shadow so that we can use it for our slice effect i'm sure i am communicating good so i'll be placing it down below here expanding it in such a way that it touch the edge the two edges you see that it has touched the first edge and the second edge so you have to be very very careful about that and after that you click on copy you place it at the middle at the other side it touches both edges perfect i'll be moving that down a bit we have to be very very careful when we are aligning this thing you have to be very very careful so i'll be moving it down a bit i'll be moving it down a bit let's see good click on copy same thing applies to this let's see perfect copy then I'll keep copying and aligning it just to get this lovely slice effect. Trust me. Wow, look at that. Then copy again. I'm sure you are enjoying this video because I am definitely having a time of my life. Trust me. So if you are enjoying this video, I want you to like it. I want you to share it. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Wow. Look at this. This is this is beautiful. This is amazing. This is lovely. Wow. Just take a look at this. This is love. This is beautiful.
okay so once that is done you go back to your layer you click on this guy here we want to make it so you select everything you have here you select everything once everything is selected you click on this merge button then you click on ok so everything is now a single entity then you can now place it well in the middle just like this okay this is not looking bad at all just like this you can just place it here then if you want to bring in your um your watermark you can just put it in your business watermark to brand it so that nobody will steal your work you can just place it somewhere around here it is allowed so once you're done you do what you save so click on this thing that looks like sd card first save as project then you save as image save the dimension in ultra don't forget always save in ultra ultra is the best quality you can get so you save it as ultra then save to gallery then you are super good to go so that is that about that if this video have been helpful subscribe to my youtube channel share this video like this video comment on this video i would love to to hear from you i would love to know if this video has been really helpful see you in the next video bye bye